James Lennis, this wine is next, Delamont, Champagne Delamont. This is Brut Non-Vintage Wine. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this wine. So it's one of my favorite producers. Now this is, uh, of course, Champagne de la Mont, and it's the fifth oldest Champagne producer, founded in 1760. It's based in La Maisonneuve sur Orge, and uh, so that's in the Côte de Blanc. I'll place a map right here so you can see where this uh, particular domain is located. Uh, I think to me this is a really handsome producer. Uh, bottle price points are completely reasonable on this wine, given the well, I would say the output of glorious wines. Love this uh, blue colorization. It's absolutely elegant, beautiful, gorgeous. Here's the back label to look at here. You can see this is a Negociant Manipulant wine right uh, there. And so that means simply that this is getting grape source from other wine grape producers. So this is the largest category, NM versus RM, Reclatant Manipulant wines or the cooperative wines, the CM wines. And uh, so for me, this is a really harmonious, beautiful wine. So it doesn't live just on its heritage of being an old uh, domain. It lives on the heritage of producing really great quality, beautiful wines. So this wine is 12% ABV. It is 55% Chardonnay, 35% Pinot Noir, and 10% Pinot Meunier. Uh, elegance uh, to this is just absolutely apparent. And seven grams of sugar per liter on the dosage. So to me, that really represents uh, you know, a lot of dryness in the brute category. So upon tasting this blindly, you might think this is an extra brute, extra brute being even drier category than brute itself. And so for me, when I think of uh, brute wines that I do taste are really in the, the teens basically. I prefer uh, brute nature, no sugar, or extra brute, which is very, very little sugar per liter. So you get grapes from the Grand Cru of uh, Le Misnel, Sorgi, Orgi, Aves, and also Cremant for the Chardonnay. Uh, elegance and grace and beauty. So I drink, uh, in terms of champagne, uh, obviously a lot more non-vintage than vintage, although I love vintage champagne. And uh, ultimately, I also like to get a wine that's gonna really characterize beautifully, harmoniously. And uh, you know, there's some grace and elegance that comes from a Blanc de Blanc or 100% Chardonnay wine. On this here, I'm getting a characterization of uh, grace, beauty, elegance. So to me, the Pinot Noir, the Pinot Meunier represent a different characterized wine. It's really elegance and gorgeousness and a little bit of darker fruit notes and floral notes that come through in terms of each representative Pinot Noir grape, the Meunier and the Noir itself. So um, this wine is a 94 point wine out of 100 points. So here we go first, scent characterization. But before I get there is be sure to enjoy your champagne in a tulip glass so that unlike a flute, which is pretty much a very, um, say, northerly, southerly projection that is a very straight lined wine glass silhouette. So in terms of enjoying the wine, in terms of a physiological response, you're gonna get that through scent. So scent is a majority, it, it rules almost everything in terms of how it will you know, taste on the palate basically. And so uh, when you smell this wine, you're gonna really taste the wine. This I'm getting notes of oyster shell, uh, brioche uh, notes, as well as honeysuckle, green, citrus, and uh, beeswax. And next, the palate characterization. So very noticeably creamy palate, uh, characterization of white peach, uh, oyster shells coming through nicely, so that salinity mineral note is very, very evident, as well as passion fruit. Elegance, grace, beauty to this wine. So when I'm not drinking a uh, Blanc de Blanc wine, I'm drinking a very nice style wine like this. This is to enjoy with cheeses. I prefer a soft cheese like a Brie triple cream. Uh, to enjoy the oysters and to enjoy on its own is fantastically lyrical. Uh, price point on this is anywhere between say $39.99 in the United States to about $50 USD in the United States. So I think that's a really, first of all, it's a larger price point uh, difference, but that's almost with every wine in the United States. And when I think of a $39.99 bottle of Brut Champagne, that's really a phenomenal find. Uh, I think it's really nicely quality, uh, beautiful characterization in the wine and something that uh, and other, say, grand marquee labels, so those are labels that you're gonna know just by looking at the label itself or just knowing the name of very popular champagnes that they're even more expensive than this. Great wine, thank you for watching. Again, 94 points out of 100 points. Let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Right down below is uh, more information on the producer. Questions and comments can be listed there as well as a like button. So please hit that button. Right up here is the subscribe button to see the latest videos that I am producing. So thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you again. Something.